two people were being mugged. There's a lot of folks that don't even know this. And the reason why they don't know, that, know this is because the news media, the district attorney, countless of police officers have swept the Christopher Ritten story under the rug. It's hard for me to do this. I said back then that I don't ever want anybody to be in the position I'm in. I can count how many people have been in this position. You don't understand what it is. Raise your child on the right side, and what happens? And then they dismiss you. But you can't dismiss me, because I did the right thing. And he did the right thing that yes, night, sir. that he came to White Plains to pick up his cousin, which was at work, because, you know, they say we don't work, we on welfare. <clears throat> Graduated from high school, was in a year and a half of college, became a police officer, came to this county, to this city, to help two people that were being mugged. They don't talk about that. All they talk about is, oh, he was out of his jurisdiction. Police officers are always police officers, no matter where they go and what they do. It's in their heart. They're going to do the right thing. He didn't have to. He could have sat in his car and just watched and did what he had to do on about his business. He got out of his car, did the right thing to save two people. People don't know about that. The district attorney at that time the district attorney at that time did such a terrible thing, and, and I know her personally, did such a terrible thing with handling my son's case. Swept it under the rug. There's so many things that they did. Right. The first That's thing right. that they did that I noticed is Robin Martin. Robin Martin, God bless the dead, is not here anymore, but he was there the day he was a police officer. And he was, he was there that day. The first thing they did, News 12, they put Robin Martin out there. They said, that's the, that's the shooter. Well, I got a phone call from Al Sharpton. We're going to march. By 12 o'clock, 12 a.m., there's three more officers on the news. But they was trying to pin this on Robin Martin. Everybody knows or would say that Robin Martin pulled the trigger, that he killed my son. Robin Martin and I are friends. He knew my son. He knew my son was coming on the job. He spoke to my son. There's people at the trial that said that he spoke to them and they dismissed it. The judge at the trial was just like, no, sir, that's not what happened. That's not in your testimony. He said, that is in my testimony, but y'all altered it. This is what they do. That's right. When you have to serve on jury duty, you gotta go. You have to go. And you have to go to grand juries and you have to make your point. There was plenty of people that came to the grand jury, to, just, to the district attorney, there's police officers that brought them there and they said, no, we can't use yours. Yeah. Because that's, that's it wasn't what they, what they were talking about. Yeah, that's what they did. They did it, it wasn't what they were talking about. People over the 12 years have come to me and said, Mr. Ripley, I was there. Let me tell you what happened. My mother's friends that work in the building over there said, Mr. Ripley, let me tell you what happened. I came here. Oh, all of a sudden they got cameras up here. They didn't have those cameras up there two days after my son was killed. The, story, the, the cameras that they had, the, the pictures that they showed were, were terrible. We asked for them, they never gave them to us. So, when uh, uh, George Floyd was killed, and they said that he knew the officer. So, I said, wait a minute. The gentleman that shot my son in the head was his platoon officer. Say that again. Say it again. The gentleman that shot my son in the head, he was shot. 10 times, but the gentleman that shot him in the head, and I'm saying that nicely, that shot him in the head 
was his platoon officer. Mm -hmm. And when the George, when they, when, the, when they said that, that they knew one another, I said, what the? And I've had problems with this gentleman over time. Yes. He decided that he wanted to be the, in the academy, he wanted to be the officer that trained, that teach one-on-one -on -one police shooting. How do you kill somebody and you decide that you want to be that person? Not on my watch, not with my son. And I went up there to the county and Damon Jones came with me and we sat up there and they tried to sweep that under the rug. That gentleman in the courtroom told me, I did everything right. He said, I'll do it again. I said, not on my watch. So, yes, all lives matter. The reason why they don't bring Christopher Ripley up is because he's a police officer. And a lot, and at this time and age, a lot of people don't like cops. But we have good cops around here. We have good police officers. And we have to back them. And we have to and we have to understand that the system, this system is terrible. I have plenty of friends that are police officers, came in Malvern and police officers, plenty of friends that work up in corrections. Guys, this has to stop. It really has to stop. I don't know how many times I can stand in front of these cameras and see somebody die. And it brings back my son. Black men dying. Good black men. Jim Ramsey going to, going, to, going to school. Was in college. Dead. Christopher Ridley. College. Job. Dead. So how many times do you turn your back? How many times do we see you on TV on um, police officers chasing a, a white suspect with a gun, with a knife? Nothing never happened. How many times do you keep continuing to look at this? That's my story. There's a lot. We have a lot to do. I'm going to continue to fight for my son. And I'm going to continue to be with everybody else. My good friend, Kendall. Yeah. Yeah. This brother. This brother right here. He's been, pushing, he's been pushing me to come tell my story. And it's just, you know, I, I'm just, you know, it's hard. And I, I want to thank you, man, for inviting me. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about.